How did I get here, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. I fell off the map. Yes, you can fall off the map and grounded. Let me show you how. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the point where I fell out of the world. I was actually, I fell into the house because this roof doesn't actually exist. Notice even I'm this close and it's not rendering any textures or anything. We were never meant to see up close this roof. So, but yeah, there's the window and there's the oak tree and we've got some running to do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set auto walk, auto sprint and away we go. And I'm not gonna make you guys sit through all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up 400% and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys. So, yeah, it's a long way. <laughs> and it's a long way down. Matter of fact, uh, let's ease up on the edge here. It won't even render in the ground as far as a draw distance because we are just too high up. I don't even know exactly how high we are. I will have a total tally for you. Um, and I could have continued building up. I didn't notice any performance loss or anything like that as I was building. I mean, the, the game is still chugging along just fine. But um, let us, um, let's quickly get down to the bottom. And you guys try and count how many floors we have while we go. Ready? Here we go. There we go. You guys, did you get that? Did you count how many it was? And no, I didn't speed that up. It, it, it actually... <laughs> that is ridiculous. So, to say that you can build high in this game is, um, well, very true, actually. I mean, this is a very basic structure built in creative mode. There are no bugs or anything like that for me to worry about. There is still a day-night cycle, and I ended up building through the night because, well, I wasn't worried about anything and I could see right in front of me. So, um, yeah, at the end here, I'm going to, uh, I'll give you a full count as to what we have, but I want to talk about a couple of uh, building things, uh, to make your life easier. If you do want to build, not necessarily this high sweet Lord, that is ridiculous. But <laughs> what I learned, uh, let me go actually into the menu here and we go to keyboard. I'm on a PC, but we'll take a look at the controller settings here in a second. Uh, if we scroll down, so we have the hot pouch, right? And then we have construction mapping. So this is the place, uh, rotate and all that good stuff. So right here, toggle building radial. It's the B button. For the controller, toggle building radial is up on the D pad. So instead of having to go into your menu all the time, like crafting and then go base building and then do that every single time, you just go B and it brings up a great radial menu and it has actually three. And notice this is just building here. This is foodstuffs. That's, uh, you know, shop stuff like the lean to so this radial is fantastic really and uh, basically i kept it on this and it stays on this screen so when i get out it'll bring me right back to that second page because i wanted the floors and the stairs so then i would just if i wanted floors i'd hit b7 build with my floors 
right click on the mouse b6 put up the stairs and it went a whole lot faster uh with the the keyboard i haven't tried it actually on the uh xbox to see how well the radial menu works on the xbox but i imagine it's very similar uh so yeah if you need help building that is definitely a faster way to do it and i'm actually using the scroll wheel now to navigate between these menus so you don't even have to hit q and e you can just use the scroll wheel up and down on your mouse to uh, get through this and i imagine on the uh the controller it's very similar with probably like a, a left bumper right bumper or left trigger right trigger uh, to move between these menus so it shouldn't be bad at all so yeah building in grounded you can build high that is for sure and you can build across the map if you wanted to you could build a huge massive thing i imagine that some people are going to get quite creative and i am probably going to do the same here's another little uh, tidbit uh just for exploration if you want to find some landmarks or something like that now creative mode is a different game save than your regular survival mode but like last night during the stream i had to find the plank cliff and uh, put a marker there and I could not for the life of me find the plank cliff I wandered around for like an hour looking for the plank cliff this morning while wandering around in creative mode I think I found the plank cliff so next time I get that daily quest from uh, Burgle I know where the plank cliff is so then I can run over there and put that marker down so creative mode is a great way to explore without having to deal with all the the bugs and stuff like that then you can jump into survival mode and go oh i need to head over here or i need to go do this thing so uh, that's another quick tip for you and uh yeah so i'm gonna get to counting and i will be right back Hundred and eighteen floors, <laughs> counting the ground level. One hundred and eighteen floors, and I think that you could go well beyond that. So, if you build higher than one hundred and eighteen floors, you have to tell me down in the comment section below how high you went, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, we are almost. Well, not almost. I say almost. We are. Well, we're more than halfway up the oak tree that is for sure uh we're almost as tall as the shed we are over the first floor of the house so at 118 floors there you go um this i mean look at that. it won't even render out over the fence because they never thought that anyone would build that high so they didn't even bother building anything that would be below the fence line <laughs> Yep, it's all just blue out there. Uh, that is um, hilarious. So there you guys have it. I don't want to say unlimited because obviously it's not unlimited. It can't be unlimited. <laughs> but 118 is a good college effort. And um, yeah, you guys let me know how high you built. Uh, did you hit uh, 150, 200? Let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to share with you that uh, the build ceiling is ridiculously high in this game. And yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Draco Invictus. And I want you guys to take care of yourselves out there. This has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.